Hello Pharma aspirants, welcome or welcome back to GDC channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the Reynolds number for the flow of fluid. So before going to discuss about the Reynolds number formula, we must learn what Reynolds number actually is. Reynolds number is a dimensionless number which is used in fluid mechanics to indicate whether the fluid flow past a body or in a duct is steady or turbulent. The formula to calculate Reynolds number is like this. RE stands for Reynolds number. This RE is the Reynolds number. This D stands for diameter of pipe. D for diameter of pipe, mu for average viscosity of the fluid, average viscosity of fluid, rho for density of the fluid or liquid, density of fluid and this for the viscosity of fluid. The units of these are as follows. Reynolds number as earlier discussed is a dimensionless number. Diameter of pipe is expressed in meter. Average viscosity is denoted by meter per second density is denoted by kg per meter cube and viscosity by pascal second the formula for reynolds number is mentioned here that reynolds number is equal to the diameter of pipe into average viscosity of fluid into the density of fluid divided by the viscosity of fluid this is the formula for reynolds number now the conditions to determine type of flow. When the Reynolds number is less than 2000, the flow will be laminar. And when Reynolds number is more than 4000, the flow is turbulent. When Reynolds number is equal to between 2000 and 4000, then the flow changes from flow changes from laminar to turbulent. What is actually laminar and turbulent type of flow. The laminar flow of fluid and turbulent flow of fluid. When the flow of fluid is uniform throughout the flow or throughout this, then each drop passes into a same. Like one drop passes like this, then second third and another drop will follow this path then the flow will be laminar and if there is randomness or no uniform path is followed then the flow will be turbulent this is the laminar and turbulent type of flow methods to determine the type of flow of fluid and the uses the first method for the measurement of flow of fluid is direct weighing or measuring method. Another is direct displacement method. Third method is hydrodynamic method. Hydrodynamic method is further categorized. Orifice meter. Orifice meter is used for the testing purpose like steam lines. It is used for used for testing purpose 
like for steam line venturi meter is used for measurement of measurement for liquid especially for water and glass pitot tube it is helpful in the measurement the measurement of the velocity at one point it is used for the measurement of velocity at one point only after the venturi meter and pitot tube a rotameter is used the function of rotameter is that it is used in chemical industries such as bulk drug in fermenters the supply of air is controlled through the rotameter so the main function of rotameter is to control supply of air in fermenters that were the part of the instrument used in the hydrodynamic method now we will going to discuss the valve which is used in pharmaceutical industries plug cork valve globe valve gate valve and diaphragm valve the main characteristic and uses of these valve are that plug cork valve is used for plug cork valve is used for handling used for handling compressed air globe valves are used in pipe with size not larger than 50 mm used in pipe with size not larger than 50 mm in horizontal lines these valves prevent the drainage these valves prevent the drainage gate valves these contain inclined seat mm -hmm. type of gate diaphragm valve is coated with in diaphragm valve a rubber valve is used rubber valve is used which is coated with polytetraethylene pte -E. it is used for liquid contain suspended solids and in the production of sterile product these were the four valves which are used in pharmaceutical industry two more valves are used 
विच इज क्विक ओपनिंग वॉल्व क्विक ओपनिंग वॉल्व एंड चेक वॉल्व दिस डोंट हैव मच इंपॉर्टेंस एंड देर फोर इज नॉट डिस्कस हेयर ब्रीफली the valves are used generally to control the rate of flow in the pipeline the first type of valve was plug cock valve which look like something like this this is plug cock valve the globe valve Globe valve, something look like this. Then the gate valve, the gate valve. One more specification is that gate valve minimizes the differential pressure during the opening and stopping of the flow. This is important point that gate valve minimizes differential pressure. between the opening and closing of the fluid then the diaphragm valve and this is the structure for diaphragm valve that for the slide briefly discussed about valve now the pumps used in pharmaceutical industries pump is a mechanical device which is used to increase the pressure energy of a liquid pump is used to increase the level of fluids from lower energy level to higher energy level a large variety of pumps have been developed along with their various types of operating functions now the classification of pump the first one is peristaltic pump this pump contains a silicon rubber tube in u shape and it is used for the pumping of emulsion and cream pumping of emulsion and cream is done by the peristaltic pump second type of pump is reciprocating pump this pump has various types of examples in which the first one is piston pump this piston pump is used in peristaltic and hplc pump and it is used for spraying the coating solution in sugar coating and film coating operation the next type of pump in reciprocating pump is plunger pump plunger pump this plunger pump is used for handling the liquids at high pressure for transport of viscous liquids and liquid which contain suspended solids after plunger pump another type of reciprocating pump is diaphragm pump diaphragm pump is used in transporting the liquid which contains solid and hazardous toxic substances also the liquid in this pump can be easily handled these were the types of peristaltic and reciprocating pump now let's move towards the another type of pump rotary pump is another type of pump which contains two type of examples gear pump and centrifugal pump gear pump is used for highly viscous liquids or oil such as vegetable oil or waxes it can be also used in the aqueous film coating 
centrifugal pump it has two types volute pump and turbine pump in volute pump the volute pump is used for viscous and liquid substances containing solid material turbine pump is used in the handling of clear non viscous and non corrosive liquid that's all for the pumps which are used in pharmaceutical industries thank you for watching this video